Hello YouTube, this is Dave with Gen3D Tech. Today we're going to do an unboxing and preview of the Mars Gaming MM Glow. A truly unique mouse that comes all the way from Spain. It's a company I've never uh, had any experience with, but you know, I saw this mouse, uh, the promotional video for it, and it was just crazy. And I thought, well, I've got to review this mouse. So I ordered it, and a month later, it finally showed up, and well, here it is. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. But before we do, let's take a look at the stats on the back of the box. They claim that this mouse is 75 grams. It has a A825 Pro sensor. I've never heard of that one before, but but um, I guess we'll find out if it's any good in the full test. And it's got Hiano mechanical switches, which are, you know, from my experience, very durable, long-lasting switches. So I think that's a good choice there. Uh, and it has a featherweight paracord cable. Uh, hopefully that's a good cable too. And it comes with so software. And we'll take a look at the software in the full review of the unboxing. So let's go ahead and get on with opening this thing up. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty basic. Got the mouse with some plastic covering, a little tiny manual. Yep, yeah, that's about it. Uh, cable looks really nice. It does uh, look pretty lightweight. It definitely feels that way too. Yeah, it's definitely a nice uh, cable. So that's a plus. All right, let's get it plugged in and see how it looks. And oh my gosh, <laughs> it's a lot of RGB. Uh, yes. <laughs> So yeah, if you like RGB, you might like this. If you hate it, well, I don't think you'd be even watching this video. Uh, there is an off switch if you want to turn it off, but I guess that's not what you're here for or what you would want this mouse for. All right, let's check out some B-roll.
All right, it comes in at 85 grams, which is 10 more grams than they claim on the box. So that's not a good start. Well, as you can see, it's a bit of a flashy mouse. So if you like that sort of thing, then you might really like this mouse. You know, some might say it looks like a unicorn threw up all over it, but you know, the shape's pretty nice. It fits pretty good on my hand. Uh, right here on the back, you can there's an on-off switch for the RGB. Uh, there's a DPI button down here, and a polling button. The skates are, you know, they're not that great. They, yeah, they definitely don't. They're kind of sharp on the edges. I don't think they're gonna last that long. It feels okay on my. Uh, mouse pad though as far as the score wheel it's kind of yeah it's it doesn't feel the best and it's kind of rickety I would say as for build quality yeah it doesn't feel too strong when you push down on the top just pushing down in the middle actually actuates the, the switches. And looking at the switches. There's just a little bit of pre-travel. That's about it, but the switches actually feel really nice. I think that's definitely a plus on this mouse. So yeah, it's a interesting mouse and uh, I'll be using it in some games and just general use to get a, a better impression when I do the full review. So hope you like this little sneak peek and watch out for the full review on this thing. Alright, thank you and see you soon.